perfect one to play, Are Mecca. You yeah, I got. Are you for pardon me. Um, well, being the righteous person you are is the biggest help to me. Uh, I kind of know where I'm going, but um, it's probably on the other floor. I'm not used to the stairwell system here. This is the first floor. Okay. Yeah, and uh, so it's, is it level with Constitution? Or is Constitution one floor up? Uh, on this, on this, you'd have to go one floor. Yeah, okay. Okay, good, thank you. And, and you're welcome too with a cheerful, helpful attitude like yours. Hi. Yeah, God does good work, doesn't God? And the timer set Kelly. New Hampshire came up recently in what context? The judge back there proving the Hi. 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 Okay, and how are you today? Good. Glad to hear it. Wow, what a big moose. Yes. yes. What a big dog. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, uh, there are not many left in Afghanistan. Uh, we perfect feel at home, Mecca. Now say hi to the people instead of only focusing on the furniture and the wood and the smells of all the nature. Good. Yeah, I saw New Hampshire. My thoughts went out to a conversation recently with the Underground Visitor Center manager uh, who somehow came up about... William Souter, not Souter, Justice, Souter. going back to David. New David, retiring yeah. and going back to his New Hampshire farm. Yes, that's right, he did recently. Yeah, proving that we're not all, there's still Americans that are not just ruthless politicians, but who want a, a, an Americana lifestyle. How is David doing, should I ask? Yeah, I saw an article when he retired about the neighbor and the farm and everything, but I haven't seen anything since then. He's probably with his friend Lay Low now, I would imagine. Yeah, out of the limelight, but he might want to write a book like uh, Sonia Sotomayor has done. Maybe he's doing some fishing or something up there. Yeah. Um, uh, New Hampshire, Dartmouth. Uh, Hanover, uh, John McCain, uh, Newt Gingrich, uh, Hillary Clinton. I guess I ran into all of them in your state. Um, how is New Hampshire doing, should I ask? It's great. Right. Uh, do you have um, school duty yet, kind of like jury duty, where the parents... Uh, have to take a day off from work and come into school and uh, maybe st stand at the door and look at the kids as they come in and do you have a uh, reserve uh, police officers association or um, looking for volunteers that want to work with the regular police or uh, the US Uh -huh. opposed to a statewide one, I think. I've never heard of a New Hampshire statewide reserve, I don't think, that I can call. But uh, I'm not sure. Do you think New Hampshire as a state would like to issue uh, two kinds of ID? Uh, one would be like the regular driver's license and the other one would be like a screen name ID, kind of like your passport. It wouldn't have where you lived on it and you could use a screen name and then anyone could check who you were in New Hampshire, say, yep, we got the real name here on file, that matches the screen name, and uh, that's, the, that's the person. I mean, eventually the card or the passport would have your DNA print and your voice print, and New Hampshire, oh, yep, that DNA print matches, we got that voice print. That but certainly is on the grid. 
we know you, that's all you need to know. You don't need to know their name or where they live or all this stuff. That's one of our people. They're okay. Uh, that might make these background checks for guns more palatable because you could use your New Hampshire screen name passport as your ID, get your background checked. Yeah, he passed everything. He can buy the gun, but we don't know where he lives. and. Uh, we don't know his family name, so no one's going to follow him home. Uh, those are kind of two of the most current things on the uh, menu. Uh, what else should we do about New Hampshire? Live free or die? Is that your motto? That's right, right here. Yeah, so tolerate or die. Uh, Tolerate Islam or die, we could tell them that, and then they say, oh, that's what we have been saying, tolerate us or die. Yeah, live free or die, you have to tolerate us also. Uh, maybe get them to change the name of their country. Instead of calling it a country, call it a mosque, like the United Mosques of Saudi Arabia, right? One, instead of being a country, they'd be a United Mosque system to explain why you're not welcome to go over there and do Christian evangelical work uh, in their mosque, just the way you wouldn't be welcome to go into a synagogue and start preaching Methodism, right? Yeah, so we get the UN to say you can still have all your rights that you already have, but you, you, please, please change your name to the United Mosques of Saudi Arabia. Then everyone will understand why you're why you don't honor the toleration of the other people, but you expect us to tolerate you. So uh, try, I can put it into a legislative form if anyone wants, to, whereas the great state of New Hampshire believes live free or die, and whereas the, um, who might reasonably misunderstand countries that don't welcome freedom inside their country and whereas a church has the right to get as big as the church can get as long as people are free to voluntarily leave the church uh, and whereas Saudi Arabia is basically one big church or mosque, be it hereby resolved, the United States Congress would recognize Saudi Arabia as with all the same rights they currently have if they changed their name to the United Mosque of Saudi Arabia. Passed by the U.S. Senate, passed by the U.S. House, signed by President Barack Hussein Obama. And then the Saudis can say, hey, let's change our name to the United Mosque of Saudi Arabia. The U.S. is now a hero because we removed what seems like hypocrisy in their country where people are all saying how come you don't tolerate the other religions in your country but you expect us to tolerate you sure. so I could draft that up and leave it by if you guys want to introduce it it might help reduce terrorism or I don't like to use that word I call it response deficit disorder people don't know what to do so they get violent Instead, you educate them to have a whole bunch of peaceful uh, responses. The other side of that is if you don't live free, God is going to let you die. Like a plant that doesn't have enough sunlight or water is going to wither and die. So live free or God will let you die. There's two ways to look at it. Live free or die. The, the person's going to fight when like a cornered person. I'm going to live free or you're going to die. Or you can look at it as the God let the person wither. So that's very important, and we ought to make it a big thing in the next presidential election, live free or die, what it really means. Maybe introduce this bill uh, when Hillary Clinton is running, and she's been around the world and these different countries, she understands her different cultures, get her to talk about, yeah, a church. Look at the Mormons. They filled up almost an entire state, was like one church, basically. Uh, but under U.S. law, they couldn't... Well, what's the biggest church in the United States? The Catholic Church? You look at all the property they own, you go in there, you can't hold a... Uh, you go into a Catholic Church, you can't bring a bunch of Jewish people in and start having a Jewish service, right? They'd throw you out, they'd call the police. Hey, there's a bunch of Jewish people having a, a service in our Catholic Church. 
likewise, the Catholics can't go into a Jewish synagogue and start having Catholic Mass in there. It's, uh, try to explain that. We already went through that once. But it might help with background checks also, because you're, the more you find out about people, the more tolerance is important. So people don't feel they're going to get persecuted because of an extensive background check showing that they're Muslim or they're Jewish or Catholic. Yeah, I'll pass that along for you, that Senator Ayotte for you, sir. Okay, that's, I apologize for not having the Senator's name on the tip of my tongue. Uh, but that's another great part about our system. You can go by the title of the office rather than the personal name. Yeah, I'll try to make an appointment and talk yeah, with Senator well, Ayotte about it. You're welcome. Uh, may the God accept our efforts. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. Live free or die. Yeah, I'm overstating my positions a little bit today. Uh, how are you doing, Mecca? Am I paying enough attention to you while I talk? Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Well, Mecca, you want to say hi? Uh, this is Mecca, an Afghan hound service animal. Really? Yeah. I want to get he or she. Uh, we don't worry about he or she till we get to puppies. And uh, in this day and age, I guess, in vitro fertilization, and almost anyone can have a puppy with anyone. Wow. Uh, well, I've never seen one before. Yeah, there are not many left in Afghanistan, I've heard, so we'd like to breed them and train them and donate them to Afghan and U.S. villages. Really? Yeah. So you in the I'm a son of a son of a military. How about yourself? Okay, I work for the Air Force. All right, great. Yeah, General Petraeus gave me a cab ride from uh, the Lincoln Memorial to the U.S. Supreme Court when I was coming back from Maine about three months ago. So I got to talk with him about the, and he likes the idea of breeding them and training them. Well, I've got two more if you're interested. They're up in Maine right now. Maybe we could work together and. Uh, uh, do I have any cards? I don't think I brought my cards with me today. Okay. Well, no, I, I would not be not, because I'm not a... Uh, you have allergies, don't you? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. But they, I've never seen this beautiful. Yeah, smart, her. too. Yes, beautiful. Well, yeah. thank you for what you do. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Likewise. All right. Hi, uh, Good Mecca. Perfect. Lead the way, Mecca. Hi. <clears throat> See, I should hand him a copy of the book and show what chapter that's in. And then I could be more concise in the verbiage. <sighs> Committee on Armed Services. We got 14 new missiles. What else do we need to know? Would the Reserve Officers Association like to volunteer to work with the United States Capitol Police? and the D.C. police who are short on officers. New Hampshire has uh, reserve police officers associations at the municipal level. So that's the reserves. What about the active duty? Noah's Ark II, U.S. Navy.
how can you be sure your DNA is securely backed up and not replaced by who else's? Noah's Ark 2 can prove to you your DNA is securely on file and ready for the next planet. God willing, who hopes? That's two. You know you qualify as trying if you try anything three times. Should there be a... Uh, Military, military, 14 new missiles. Can you prove that the thermal inversion in the ocean will protect the lower waters and keep them cold, no matter how much we heat up the surface water? Too much. Army Corps of Engineers is responsible for the highway construction in the state of Maine. The military. So the U.S. military should be in charge of construction of the Arctic uh, shipping lanes and stuff. And that involves water temperature. We like to desalinate 1% of the world's salt water to increase the fresh water by 10 times what we have now. The U.S. military, solar seawater distillation. The U.S. military is going to 10 times the amount of fresh water on Earth, God willing. Think of money as bullets, think of water as... Uh, treaty uh, bonds. Crazy like a fox. Hi. There's an Arabic word like crazy that means Messiah. Committee on Armed Services. 14 new missiles thanks to a Russian treaty proposal. U.S.-Russian Mutual Defense Pact. New York Times upgraded it to an Arctic Defense Treaty. Secondly, the reserve officers volunteering to work with the police, checking and balancing. Thirdly, Noah's Ark 2, U.S. Navy. Fourthly, Solar seawater distillation, Army Corps of Engineers. Four good ideas for the Committee on Armed Services. God willing, who hopes? Gotcha. Perfect play with the leash, Mecca. Perfect play with the leash, Mecca. Perfect play with the leash, Mecca. Senator Ayat, live free or die. Yeah, Mecca, good Mecca. Committee on Armed Services hearing room. Hard hats, steel toes, safety is everybody's business. Howdy. What comes first? Our rights come first. Live free or die, right? <laughs> that means what? Live free or God will let you wither from lack of freedom. That's a nice looking dog. Yeah, yeah smart too and playful and What brand is he? 
uh, Afghan. Oh, okay. Yeah, there are not many left in Afghanistan, evidently. Wow. I've got two more if you're interested. No, but he's cool. Yeah, I better find a training school online and get them interested, huh? <laughs> yeah. What's his name? Or get the State Department to get a training kennel program together. This is Mecca. Mecca? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's like an Afghanistan name. <laughs> yeah, it's a Muslim name, right? A Muslim name, right. Uh, Afghan name would be uh, Karzai Omar is the brother of Mecca. And then there's Betsy. <laughs> Friendly dog. Yeah. It looks like you guys have the coax cable. Yeah. yeah, we're trying. <laughs> yeah. Well, analog nodes are supposed to make a system more secure. For real? Yeah, if you have some analog nodes in there, then the digital bugs can't hop across the analog sine wave node, like a voice signal. The virus is digital, so it can't hop across there. Like if you have a screen with all the digital, you put a camera on the screen, then you get what is on the screen go through the camera into the other computer, and the viruses get left behind. They can't hop across. You better go to the intelligence area and tell them that because he's... <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they could use an engineer. Well, I learned that at the Supreme Court from the Microsoft engineer who was checking their computers. Okay, so somebody in the U.S. knows this shit already. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> but you never know, so I keep checking. Uh, yeah. Keep an eye <laughs> God willing. Care, you too, who will try to be ready, as unto you. Hi. Hi. Hello, hi. Hi. Uh, I forgot to ask the last two times, is the senator in today? Okay, um, I'd be happy to try to make an appointment at his convenience. Uh, maybe next time when I check back, we could work on that. Okay. I don't want to be a pest, but um, I do try to get in each year. Anything else you or I might need to know? Uh, well, I mean, the best way to try to schedule an appointment with the senator would be to use an email address. Do you have an email address? Yeah. Write down the schedule email address. Wonderful, thanks. Just had a good conversation at the uh, Armed Services Committee about four ideas. Noah's Ark 2, U.S. Navy able to prove your DNA is securely backed up and ready to go to the next planet. A solar seawater distillation project uh, increased the amount of fresh water on Earth ten times with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Great, very clear. Uh, hi, Mecca. Perfect, don't chew the carpet, Mecca. Good, Mecca, you heard the word perfect. Yep, hi. Hey. Yep. Good to see you, John. John, John. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, the New York Times showed the parking garage with solar panels. There's a city. They're requiring solar roofs on everything in their city now. So that monorail idea I talked to you about, where one plan had the panels above the tracks in case you break down, you got shade above you. So why not whole highways throughout the entire Southwest that have the solar panels above them and they're electric highways and you got shade above you from the panels? Hi. Wild West, how are you? <sighs> Along the trail you'll find me loping where the spaces are wide open. In the land of the old AEC. Mm. 
SR 22.9, I cannot tell a lie about what else. <clears throat> Perfect repentance, Mecca. And six to eight lights are still on. Family services, tribal people, the river within us, Albuquerque. Excuse me. Bismillah, thank you. Hindu Society of Minneapolis. Perfect find the door, Mecca. Good Mecca. Perfect find the door, Mecca. Good. Good Mecca. Let's find the other door. Come on. Find the other door. There's the Mississippi. So this is international relations in the U.S. states. John Kerry. Oh, perfect. Find the other door, Mecca. We've got to look again. Two, four, six, seven lights. Yeah, perfect. Find the door again, Mecca, but it's locked. We got to find the other door. Come on. Solar Seawater Distillation Project. U.S. Navy, ten times as much by, by using solar seawater distillation on one percent of the salt water, we can increase our fresh water by ten times. Hi. Private Armed Services, POW, MIA. Perfect find the door, Mecca. William M. Cohen, Massachusetts. Hi. Perfect find the door, Mecca. Richard M. Burr, North Carolina. Hi. Cross reference Robert Page. Cross reference Governor LePage. Here's a desk. Exactly what we need at home. Two video screens. Rand Paul came up recently. He went and talked to the Howard University people about civil rights. Hi. Congratulations to Senator uh, Rand Paul for going to Howard University and talking about civil rights. He, uh, he might want to make a clear, he might want to clear up the confusion by saying civil rights are actually constitutional rights. And the word civil rights was introduced to keep people from going all the way to the Constitution. They kind of stop them short. Uh, the reason that people stopped other people short is probably because of fear of too many amendments to the U.S. Constitution, right? Mm, the state of Alabama, for example, has amended their Constitution about a hundred times. And so your Constitution starts to lose some of the historicity or inertia or you know stability that you expect in an unchanging set of rules here constitution that the lawyers and politicians made up a category called civil rights instead of calling them constitutional rights they call them civil rights and then the whole thing boils and churns here instead of getting to the the real place here so the 
conclusion for sticking with this and letting you go and me go is to avoid the Alabama thing with hundreds of amendments to your constitution, weakening it, come up with 50, 20, whatever they are, solid constitutional amendments we're overdue for. And then the Howard University kids, well, here's a couple, three amendments, what do you think of them? Instead of all the churning about civil rights. God willing, thanks. Yeah, we owe prayers in Zur prayer. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Hi there. Nice job. Thanks. Uh, God does good work, doesn't God? Uh, downstairs, uh, Senator, we got to ask if they're in or not, and then we can go over to the vote. Oh. God does not need any, including not needing to not need, and is therefore ready and willing to create. Only God does not need any, including not needing to not need. La ilaha, no small gods, illaha. Allah. Small know about the one God because we the creation are less than you the God. We need, but the God does not need, including not needing to not need. Taming, training, and educating. Not memories, seek truth. Here's Mark Bagich's office. Hi. Hello. Um, I'm repenting because the last two times I came in, I failed to ask if the senator was in today. Uh, so. Um, uh, yeah, I left uh, proposed legislation by for a. Um, what you would call a state screen name ID. Okay, you left it here with us? Yeah, I did. Your co-worker here, a young man. Okay, yeah, he should have taken it to the appropriate staffer in that case. Okay, since then the idea's gotten a little bit more clear. It would be kind of like, you know how your passport is? Yes. It has your name, but it doesn't say where you live. It doesn't say, it says my residence. Does it say the state you live? It says where it was issued, but it doesn't say what your home address is. Sure it does, but, um, I have to actually, You're the senator busy? is actually allergic to dogs, so okay. he is in today. I'm sorry, but uh, if, you can, if you want, I can pass along anything you have. Yeah. Okay, um, hi there. Um, uh, Willow, uh, Mecca, uh, Bill, uh, Nancy Lake, uh, um, yeah, on the table, not under the table. Uh, Maine, uh, Alaska, uh, uh, Libya, uh, volunteers. Let's invite all the tribal people of the world to come to Alaska for a big powwow about tribal corporation rights. Protect your tribe. 
legally. Who wants, let me overhear the question, is the senator in? So that's where I learned that one. Here's North Dakota. Hi. North Dakota. North Dakota. North Dakota. Oh, hi. Um, your senator. Uh, who was it? Uh, no, he's from Montana. Max Baucus, right? Baucus, yeah. Uh, Afghan hound. Yeah, um, we're interested in breeding them and training them and donating them to Afghan and U.S. villages because there are not many left in Afghanistan. So with all the room you guys have up there and the good cold weather and mountains, they might love it up there. If you know of any uh, dog breeders or anybody like to get interested, we could get the U.S. military in uh, North Dakota and Afghanistan working together. And we might want to invite them all up to Alaska for a tribal powwow. How they can form tribal corporations. Do you guys have Indian corporations? Yeah, well, Canada and Alaska, we form tribal corporations uh, for them to have a legal structure. Yeah, what do we need to do about that? Probably get uh, the W.S. Alcott Medicine Show to have some Amer uh, National Museum of the American Indians go on tour with some of these FBI rock and roll bands. Yeah, that might work. Build consciousness. Okay, okay, come on, Mecca, likewise. Uh, say what? Yeah, I am, and uh, hi. Uh, I'm trying to not be a pest, but I'm also trying to uh, be available enough so I can work with you. Sure, okay. I'm so Bill and Mohammed. Uh, yeah, I, uh, Science Tester 2013, YouTube. Oh, okay. Science Tester 2013. Science Tester 2013, okay. Yeah. All right. All right, well, you have a great rest of the day. As unto you, we're trying to go over to the public galleries to watch the vote on background checks. Oh, okay. We're trying to get you a state, North Dakota state screen name, ID. So you're in Boise, Idaho. Yeah. Cop pulls you over. Yeah, here's my North Dakota ID. Is this your name? No, this is my screen name. My family's protected by the state of North Dakota. Oh. But you can check it. You can run it just like anything else. Oh, okay. And North Dakota will confirm. I have no warrants out against me. I am okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, let me run it, man. You are going 65 in a 55 mile an hour yeah, right. zone. Uh, oh, he doesn't have any warrants out. Okay, I'll let you go with a warning this time. Gotcha, okay. So that all the states can protect the people. Uh, you want to buy a gun at a gun show in California? Uh, you don't have to worry about these cops that you don't know from Adam right. uh, learning who your family is and where you live. Sure. But the North Dakota state has to prove that they, they do a good job with the, the screen names and they have an offline database and they're protecting all the information and whenever the feds send in a ch check this one, yeah. then you guys run it offline. Okay. Well, we found one that matches. We don't know if it's him or not. We're letting you know, and we'll send a copy to that person that, hey, they match. Huh. So then instead of you living in fear that someone's looking for you and you don't know it, and a mistaken identity, you've been informed. Oh, wow, okay. So Interesting. Good luck. It might Good help luck. with the guns in the background check, huh? True. All right. You have a great day. As unto you. Thanks a lot. Let's ride horseback together and take the dogs out. Hi. Okay, thanks. And how are you? I'm doing fine. How can I help you? Um, 
Recently in Delaware, unfort alas, sadly, uh, people were murdered outside of a metal detector, I read. Is that true? Uh, I haven't heard that. Yeah, I, I think it's true that um, some people uh, waiting to go through a metal detector or something were killed. And um, I have a solution for that, that uh, if it's true that the, your senator might be interested in introducing a bill okay. uh, so that whenever police require you to stand and wait to go through a metal detector uh -huh. and you have to stand next to people you don't know, etc., cetera, et cetera, uh, there would be a number, like at the butcher shop, now serving number 13, now serving number 14, okay. and it would say take a number and um, you could stand anywhere you want uh -huh. while you're, and then when your number is called, you and only you, or anyone you want to have come with you, uh -huh can approach the metal detector and go through. Interesting. So that way, uh, the second uh, thing on that, which is a little more expensive, is a second metal detector outside. You go through the one with the number, then you can go to the outside area. Yeah, there is a liability, um, and that's a lever uh, to relieve the uh, people of the liability. You're going to wait for your number to be called? <laughs> you too. We'll try to be ready. The only thing wrong with federal protectees is they lose their right to personally file an Article 3 because of secret identities and stuff. Now why did we come this way? Senator from Maine. this? This is Kelly Ayat, New Hampshire again. Okay, good. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. There's the Native Americans, uh, Let's have an international tribal powwow in your state so that we can get Alaska and Canadian native land claim settlement structure for all tribes. God willing, who hopes? And Hi. Oh, there's our friend there. Hi. There's all the kids art there. Uh, school duty, like jury duty. Parents get to go to school one day a month, just like jury duty, school duty. Yeah. Look the kids in the eye at the door. That's a good idea. Uh, I think I might have a water tray in my pack and some water, but I'm. Um, Thanks, let me see if I can find it. Oh, perfect. Be friendly, Mecca. Hey, baby. We're up here with the flags. Oh, good. Okay, we get to walk. And how are you guys doing? Good. Good. I like your dog. 
Yeah, God does good work, doesn't God? My dog does that same thing. Ah, yeah, it's an instinctual uh, play thing. Uh, yeah. I wonder what it would be good for. It's hot. It's, it's hot outside, right? Yeah, maybe you could extend that to like in a burning building to grab the person and pull them out of the building. You bite that pulling instinct, you know. Right. Pull the unconscious person out of the building. Pull the unconscious. 1776. Good Mecca. Dog food. A spray. No, I don't have the dish with me, but I do have the water bottle. I don't have the dish with me, but well, I'll find something. great. Yeah. I, I do have a water bottle. I have a water bottle. I mean, I'm I got this. I can fill that up. Will that help you? Well, it's got some water in it. Okay. We put it in the dish. We'd be okay, or however you want to do it. Okay, I'll put more water in here. Oh, that shit's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, See, Cassius can give him some water. So it's fine. Okay. But can you? Like, yeah. Can go in here. Right. Good. Thank you. Good. You just go right there. Okay. Okay. Right. Thanks. Okay. Come on. Ah, start for the uh, avalanche. Send in the helicopters. Mecca. Come on, Mecca. Come on. Hi. How's the boat going? Hi. Hi. I'll be right back. Good. Andrea Mitchell. Cross reference Andrea Stein. Immigration reform seen as easier sell than gun control. How about dual citizenship for all immigrants? Gang of eight to present a deal in coming days. Now, not only will you become a U.S. citizen, but also a citizen in good standing in Mexico. Um, God willing, your kind co-worker has offered to get some water for my dog. Okay, well, if she's already on that, then she should be back shortly. Please. God willing, I hope. Thanks. Here it is, Mecca. Hallelujah. It's not a lot. It's the only bowl I can find. Well, thanks. Okay. I'll take it with me so yeah, next time good. we'll be ready. We can, if he doesn't bring a important plant or something, then we can... That's thinking. We can take it. You remind me of Tracy a lot. I, you mean the um, the daughter of my music teacher in high school, a wonderful young woman, great uh, voice and uh, sense of adventure. Okay. Great. Yeah. And I, I can fill it up again if that's... Well, I do have that water okay. bottle, so uh, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks. Senator Isaacson. Yeah, Amy Carter. Went to Brown University and the unofficial color for the U.S. Secret Service of Brown. Here, well, sometimes, sometimes, if I hold it. What kind of dog is it? An Afghan hound. Yeah. That's good, Mecca. Last attorney for 120 miles. Okay.
Okay, we got a dish now, thanks to your friend. Georgia, 75% of the attorneys are in Atlanta, in Georgia. The reservoir went dry a few years ago. Maybe we could fill it up with solar distilled water from the Atlantic Ocean. Thanks again. State of the debate. Mexico. Mexico mandatory dual citizenship for Mexicans seeking to become U.S. citizens and merit-based qualification for any U.S. citizen who wants to become a dual citizen with Mexico. That would give us 300 million votes in Mexico. And they'd get 100 million votes up here, huh? Or would they have to apply also the ones who are already hmm, good. You got me thinking. Thanks. Hi. Beautiful. Yeah, God does good work, doesn't God? <laughs> hey, brother. What's going on? You smell that chocolate, don't you? Uh, Mecca. Still kind of wild. Yeah, that's where we were going. Uh, that's the Independence. Is there a pet channel yet? There must be a pet channel, huh? How to play with animals channel. Hi. Good Mecca. Welcome to the United States of America dual citizenship naturalization program. You will become a citizen in good standing in your home country as well as a U.S. citizen. On the other hand, U.S. citizens will have to qualify to become a citizen in your country. And likewise, citizens in your country will have Patty Murray, 10% of 10 to the 31st, <laughs> as unto you who, thanks for listening, too big to fail becomes too small to intimidate, or just the right size, and unable to intimidate. Too big to fail becomes just the right size and unable to intimidate. 10 to the 16th meets up with 10 to the 31st. Now, where were we going to find senators uh, from uh, King and then we can go. Teamwork, families, value. Yeah, you want to play? You want to wrestle with them and romp and play.
then we can go emergency staging area That's good, Mecca. Tim Scott, South Carolina. Hi. Hi. Tom Coburn, Oklahoma. Tulsa. Religious group. Uh, what was that? The hands in prayer. Oklahoma. Hi. Yeah, this is Mecca, an Afghan hound service animal. Really? Yeah. Is this out things or? Say what? It sniffs, it sniffs things or it works? Uh, it works. It uh, helps me uh, my obesity and work workaholic problems. Uh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. May there be enough interspecies uh, cooperation uh, for all people? Huh. How about that? And how about your family? Have you got interspecies uh, cooperation? I got a black lab that sleeps on my bed every night. And Hallelujah. She keeps me happy. Yeah. I had, a, I, had, I had a dream. I had a dream that. President Obama invited me down to the White House. Ah. Okay, and, and listen to this. He comes down and he sees the dog. He said to bring the dog. Right? Yeah. And and when I brought the dog, he said, "I'm going upstairs." Said, Where are you going? He goes, "I'm going to show it to the girls." And then he didn't. He says, "I'm keeping your dog." And I woke up with scared. How's that for a crazy dream? Yeah. Well, you got to have more than one dog, I guess. So you could help heal the world by giving one whenever you need. That's it. Yeah, maybe I was supposed to give you to uh, President Karzai two or three nights ago, huh? Mecca, U.S. military, attention. Uh, Noah's Ark 2, let's prove to people we can get their DNA to the next planet safely. They're on the phone. Say hi. <laughs> A little bit longer. Hi. Wow. Second Amendment right to bear technology. feet than the other ones. Huh. Hi. Okay. Perfect. Lead the way, Mecca. Now let's repent here. Hi. 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 Come on in. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm repenting today for failing to have asked if the senator was in the last couple of times I visited, so. Uh, 
Hi. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I'm repenting for failing to have asked if the senator was in the last couple of times I was here. Yeah. Um, somebody years ago taught me to ask if the senator's in. Hi. What's the dog's name? This is Mecca, an Afghan Hi. hound service animal. Ah. Are you ready, Lauren? Or? Beautiful. Yeah, no, the senator's not in right now. Okay. Yeah, it's got a lot of votes and stuff today. Yeah, we're on our way over to the public gallery to do what we can by sitting there. Uh, Senator Collins yesterday got a copy of a bill seeking endorsement from the NRA and the Green Party uh, to establish two kinds of identification for background checks. Right. Basically, you know how your passport is? It doesn't list where you live on your passport. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we want it so states can issue an ID to us with a screen name on it, yep. and then any background check that you, you buy a gun in California, yep. show you them know, your I actually don't name. Cover, I don't cover gun policy uh, in our office. So. Okay. Um, but no, the senator's not in now. Okay. i got to get back to okay. what I'm doing okay. here. Okay. Have fun at the gallery, okay? By helping others have fun as well as us how. Thanks. Okay, bye. bye and bye. The Second Amendment right to bear technology with your state of Maine screen name ID. Yep, that's his DNA print and voice print. It's encrypted. We don't know exactly how to, we can't, the only way we can get it is through our encrypted system. So no one be off clandestinely checking on people. But that's all we know. We don't know his name. We don't know where he lives. All we know is that the state of Maine verified they have his DNA print and his voice print on file and there are no warrants out against him, so we got to let him go. Okay. Uh, close, Afghan. Department of Veterans Affairs. Veterans. Uh, Joe Davis. State Vets Veterans Hi Hi there um, Yeah, I've made contact with Joe Davis uh, Public Relations Officer for the VFW Veterans of Foreign Wars And um, he's been pretty kind uh, Do you do any business with him? or? I don't know him Okay He's right up the street on Constitution at that building there. Um, some of the ideas that I had with him were, uh, you know, General Petraeus gave me in Mecca a cab ride from the Lincoln Memorial to the U.S. Supreme Court one day, and I put it on YouTube, and then I met him later walking dogs. Uh, and the idea there was to get him involved in some of our plans but he'd have to answer a few more questions or something. Uh, the second thing that came up with him was about uh, veterans uh, coming back and seeing these movies like Spring Breakers and uh, Jack Kerouac, sex, drugs, rock and roll, uh, mental illness, and uh, to empower the veterans to be able to, when they see the movie, have their iPhone uh, on and then they can go home and talk to their minister, their mother, their father, their friends about what the movie meant to them. Is that why I, Fred, my buddy, died face down in the mud in Iraq so that these kids could go and shoot up uh, cocaine and guns and spring break and well, I mean, what's the meaning of this movie? How come the white girls killed all the blacks at the end and they were shown like they were victorious for what they did? I mean, it seemed so uh, instead of having a all pent up in them, they could put onto YouTube the way I have been doing when I go to see a movie. And we have to get a copyright exception because YouTube has been, <coughs> Disney says you can't show this movie on uh, YouTube. But I say, look, I put it up there. You have editing tools. I can put in arrows and comments about what this means. Here's where my dog got up at the love scene. It, and the second time I saw the movie, the dog got up at the same place at the same time. I want to show this. And the same way veterans would want to have the right to become spokesmen for culture by, on YouTube and show exactly what they see. So uh, I asked Joe if we could recruit uh, you guys to uh, work 
uh, with Mecca and me to uh, in YouTube to approach people like Disney, uh, Bill Murray's friend came up with a suggestion. Uh, I wanted to have a U.S. Surgeon General's mental health warning inserted every five minutes or every 10% of the duration of the movie. It'd be interrupted for a comment proportional amount. If it's a short clip, it comes in you know more frequently, and it's a little bit shorter. If it's a long clip, it comes in you know less frequently, and it's a longer duration. But it keeps getting interrupted with. Uh, U.S. Surgeon General mental health warning, failure to respond and seek responses can be hazardous to your health. And it, it sits up on the screen and there's different formats for it. And it interrupts the copyrighted material often enough so it's obvious that the veterans are not out there trying to steal it and pirate it and sell it to make money off of someone else's hard work. They're trying to participate and culturally adjust when they come home. Uh, so Bill Murray's friend uh, took uh, some like translucent speech bubble and put it over David Letterman and Bill while they were talking so it kind of obscures it a little bit and then Bill's so smart he goes and walks around to the edge of the frame and the white parts over here and he's just outside of it to, so you can see him really clearly and then he goes back in there and stuff so that uh, there could be other ways to affect the copyrighted material to show it's clearly, you know, not being pirated. And then this would let veterans uh, have an authoritative voice. Now, Cisco and Ebert, that Cisco guy, he just died yesterday or the day before uh, as this was coming to a head. I've got two different YouTube accounts that have been blocked over this issue. Uh, it's really ironic because on the way to see The Wizard of Oz, the heroine from the movie sat down in the metro car right across from me and Mecca on the way to the theater. I said, would, I didn't know it was her. I said, would you like to go see a movie because she looked like a nice person? And she said, no, uh, sort of not enough or something. And then I got to the movie, I saw she was in it, and I said, oh, well, maybe she wanted me to invite her to do something else. Uh, so in that sense, I might be able to help out because people who are in the movies and participating in them, they're not only using some of my ideas, uh, but they're also coming by. Uh, the guy from Playbook, you know, that's one of my things. Families, teamwork, uh, value, uh, independence and teamwork. Uh, what's your rule book? The Bible? What's your playbook? The uh, so I ask people all around, what's your playbook? And then they use that as the title, Playbook Silver Lining. And on the way out of that movie, the hero, he's up on the escalator as we're coming out of the Regal Theater. And I have to say, you know, God is greater than the name of the girlfriend that he's obsessing over in the movie that would solve his problem if the psychiatrist and his father and his mother say, look, I know you want to get back with your wife. I know it's a big thing in your life, but look, God is greater than that. You know, trust in God. So... Veterans could be doing stuff like this independent of whether or not uh, the cast and crew are in, uh, part of them. But since they are involved with our lives, we could maybe help the veterans get a um, toehold on this beachfront of free speech where the copyright hypnotist using sex, drugs, and rock and roll, which is another word for entertainment or hypnosis, flashing lights, tones, hypnotizing large numbers of people, drugging them in the parking lots, uh, entertaining them, uh, veterans getting sucked into that when they come back with peer pressure and all this stuff. And here the veterans affairs people could uh, say, look, welcome back. Uh, you are going to be guides. I didn't bring one with me, but I can write it down. And just the way you had training and tools in the military to do your duty, here's the training and tools for your civilian life now. Uh, via the internet out in Oregon thanks yeah likes you a lot so where's your next uh, meeting uh, we're gonna go over to the public galleries uh, to sit up there and show solidarity um, oh, uh, 
the Senate and House galleries? Uh, yeah. Is that um, what you're trying to get to? Yeah. Uh, okay. That's. To walk you in that direction? Okay. Uh, Response rights and YouTube. Okay. Thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome. So and Joe Davis, he, he was uh, kind of... So you're local, okay? Yeah. All right, let me show you the way. Okay, thanks. Um, just like... Okay, good. So it's uh, Mr. Hill? Yes. Yes, um, I'm not a pushy person, but maybe I should learn to ask... Uh, I don't know you, but I love you, as we say in California. I spent some time there, uh, yeah, with the Grateful Dead and Bob Dylan. Which uh, part? San Francisco, Bay Area. Thanks. He doesn't like uh, going up elevators, does he? Uh, yeah, is able to go up elevators, escalators even, yeah. He's just, that's one of the most exquisite animals I've ever seen. If there are vets who'd like to get involved, we'd like to breed them and train them and donate them to Afghan and U.S. villages. Yeah, there's. Well, do, they, do Afghan hounds actually come from Afghanistan? Yeah, and there are not many left there, according to uh, recent sources. Uh, why is that? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe because of the wars. They've had so many wars. There was a photo recently of an Afghan uh, uh, polo game on horseback. Normally they use a goat bladder for their ball, but in this case they had a beheaded Afghan hound and they were holding it by the forepaws. Uh, between two horses and then the next slide is of a wedding so maybe their way of talking about the head and the brain of the dog and uh, feeling like hey let's we're married culturally now uh, so we're going to go to the okay. right of these stairs okay so you're, I just want to make sure I'm, I'm taking you in the right direction yeah you're going to either the Senate or House Gallery right okay yeah now the way they do it now uh huh they built this, it's called the um, Capitol Visitor Center. Uh huh, yeah. It? It's underground, actually. So yeah. that it doesn't dwarf the Capitol. You know, it's so you yeah. don't go through that way. Yeah. So they won't let you go through directly. Yeah. Or, yeah, it, it totally defeats the idea of decentralized uh, self government. It teaches people to line up and go through a door under yeah. uh, orders. Well, the reason is because there were some incidents where people with guns came in and threatened the lives of people in the Capitol. So they had to be a little more systematic about screening people. Uh, maybe. I think it's a gift to the police to have their entertainment and center and uh, use their procedures to get people to come in. A lot of fine print sort of thing. So, are you a veteran, Mr. Hale? I think you said I'm a son a of, of a son of a Korean vet. Okay. I'm a member of the American Legion post here. I see. Um, Mr. Hale, yes. You probably know this. I don't mean to tell you things you already know, but if you follow that path. Yeah. Uh, no, let me let me be more explicit. Go this way along the sidewalk. Yeah. And when you get to the when you can see the center of the Capitol, yeah. take a right and you will see an entrance. It's kind of a ramp down to the Capitol Visitor Center. Again, they built it on the ground so that it didn't, um, how do I say, it's so big and grand. They didn't want to upstage the Capitol. So that's the only reason it's underground. Yeah, but they didn't have to put in an alligator moat and a drawbridge or a causeway to do it, you know? That's true. The two elevators there, you can go yeah. up and down. You could have left everything normal. And if you explain that your dog's a companion, uh, is that what he's a companion? It took five times to get in the first time. Yeah, just make it clear that he's a companion dog. Yeah. And, you know, and, and they should let you in. They should, yeah. yeah. Um, but then the pack's too big, they said. Oh, yeah. And you got in? sometimes, the last time. Mm. They, they'll x ray. And then they said I couldn't record another time. Oh, was that recording? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. It goes on to um, Science Tester okay. 2013. Okay. YouTube. Well, listen, good luck. Yeah, you All too, right. who I don't know your name, but I love you. It's Jenny. Thanks, Jenny. Hi. Hi. 
Good, we did the right thing, Mecca. Perfect repentance, Mecca. Forgiveness and acceptance of forgiveness. Good job, Mecca. Maybe that's what the host is about. Cross reference Abraham. You know what? I was amazed at the What's everybody's first name, baby? We were like really activated when we came to the Africa here. That's good. Good luck. Let me be more explicit. Cross-reference those explicit intimacy videos are also copyrighted. Hi. Hi. National Cab Association. Cross-reference the DNA print. Yeah, this is your chance to have some fun, Mecca. God does good work, doesn't God? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, another 55 minutes. get a tone from that how low pretty critically low so we got to go into the pack and solve that ah. that's good mecca Perfect empty your bladder, Mecca. Okay, 
And then we got to charge these and change this up here, I guess. Yeah, God does good work, doesn't God? Yes, it does. Yeah, this is Mecca, an Afghan hound service animal. 